Hello folks, welcome back, my name is Kev and this is the Dimmy Channel. This is the first video of a collection of five which will be breaking down Zlaner's uh, recent game uh, which he shared with Crowder. If you don't know who Crowder is, um, he's a used to be a pro uh, co player and a, a coach for the phase team. Um, and that's all I'm going to really say for the intro. So enough with the intro, let's take a look at Zlaner's first encounter on this video. Come on, Papa. I'm dropping down. Oh, oh fuck, one's like right on me. Got him. Other one's in the garage. I'm here. Okay. You are so. So that's it at the upload speed of 60 frames per second. This is now 25 frames per second. I won't speak any more during this clip other than to say that I'm, I will speak over the one frame per second. So if you've made it this far, congratulations. Um, you've probably made up your mind one way or another. But um, I'm going to play it through at one frame per second. Now I'd like you to take a look at this image and notice where the opponent is in the garage. Now this was taken halfway through the clip. Uh, he was actually dealing with the guy on the outside. But look at the position of where this guy is in the garage. Uh, and I've horizontally uh, marked his feet and then a, a bar through the, the center of his head. And then we're going to move on to this image. I appreciate it might uh, look a little bit confusing to start with, but what it's um, trying to know is the sweeping action and then the stopping action of Zedona's um, gunplay. So if we look at the red bar, the red bar is on the right hand side of the, pl uh, the player. If he sweeps from the left to the right, it'll um, his reticle will go left to right, but it will stop on the red bar. Um, and if he's coming up from below, we're looking at the purple part, it'll stop at the uh, purple bar, which is the feet, the green being the head. Um, but if he's coming from below, it'd be up to the purple bar, and then he can sweep left and right along that axis. I've said this many times in other videos and uh, we're going to look out for that on this video. Now this is something that we regularly see with Zulena. Um, we know he knows that there's somebody in the garage. One of the first things he does, he will sweep to the left in this case. Uh, that enables him to do a sweep to the right to get the stop that he's looking for. He does get caught out by um, um, a guy jumping through a window, gets surprised, but that's he doesn't know that at this time. He's going for his sweep to the left so he can do the sweep to the stop on the right. At this point, how he deals with the guy on the outside um, is in relevance. All I'm uh, asking you to consider is, does he follow the red arrow and get to a, a line, that's similar to my line, the red line, and then just stop? And then, does he get to the parallel line, which is where the feet are, of the guy hiding on the right-hand side at the back of the garage? Um, does he get to a stop on that line and does he follow it for several frames going back to the left before he has to tackle the guy that's on the outside? So that's what I'm asking you to do is just consider, is there a stop? 
And does he follow that stop line? Uh, or, and then um, does he have to break away off of that to deal with the uh, opponent outside? And here's trait two for Zelena, and that is the avoidance of headshots. Um, his aimbot uh, that I believe he uses doesn't uh, doesn't really permit the headshots because it's trying to concentrate on the chest area. Even though the guy is this close, how many average and good players will get a headshot in this battle? And yet Zelena doesn't, and he's supposed to be a top pro. At this point, I just want to point out, um, check out if you can see the guy in the garage move from the right over to the left corner, which is the safest place, but you know, he's had, he's had a, um, um, an explosion in there. Um, he's moved over behind, behind the boxes on the left hand rear, but Z Laner has had no indication that that's actually occurred. Something else that's a, a little bit odd on um, this clip. Um, he's just taken a hell of a beating. He's got um, virtually no life left. So he's stuck in behind the yellow car. He does not plate up and he does not give himself time uh, to revive. Um, he just goes straight on to battle the guy in the garage. The ga guy in the garage isn't going to go anywhere. He can't go anywhere. Um, Crowder is jumping down, he's, so he's going to be tackling him. And yet z does not replate, and he does not allow his health to come back up at this point. Most players would, I think. So he's looked over the, the bonnet, or if you're American, the hood of the car. He can't see into the garage. Um, he's going to move towards the back of the vehicle. Now I want you to consider, does he hit a vertical stop and then pop up with his um, reticle exactly in the centre of the opponent? Quick question, does this look like a vertical lock to the back corner of the garage through this vehicle?
if it was a lock, uh, he's still maintaining it because it's still pointing and stuck to the back corner of the garage. Which means when he pops up to scope in above the back of this car, he's going to be directly on the opponent. With all the haze and uh, obviously the gun smoke that's now filling the garage, um, can you make out where the guy is in the garage, uh, even at this one frame per second speed? Because his aim doesn't fall off of the guy in the garage, even when the guy in the garage moves to the, his left, out in, you know, towards the middle of the garage rear and back again, the aim stays on him throughout. So there we go guys, um, another one for you to postulate on. If you like the video, um, please remember to subscribe, uh, turn notifications on, and if you've got comments, I would very much welcome them, and I will try and answer any questions or queries that you, you have. Thanks very much for watching again. My name's Kev.